if I told you there was a way to make your videos look like they belonged to a Hollywood blockbuster by simply moving your main key light. Hi, I'm Jason and this channel is all about making better looking, better sounding and better edited video. This shot that you're looking at at the minute has the main key light positioned in front and to the side of me and the camera's right there shooting in to the lit side of the face here. Let me just get up and show you what I mean. So what we've got is the key light there, that's an Aperture LS 300X pointing down where I was sitting. And over here we've got some negative fill just to reduce some of the light reflecting off these white walls. At the back there I've got a floor lamp that's currently turned off. I'll get to why that's there later in this video. To get this movie-like look we're going to be moving this key light and instead of having it in front of the subject we're actually going to have it behind the subject. And yes, I finally got some studio slippers. What we're doing here is using a technique called upstage key lighting or reverse key lighting. And there's four main reasons why you might want to use this technique. The first reason to use this is if you want to create a moody film-like look. You can control how moody it looks by how much fill light you add to it. I'll show you that in just a second. The second reason to use this is if you've got somebody in the shot that's wearing glasses and having the key light in front of them is actually causing a lot of glare and reflection off of the glasses. Because the light's behind them, that's going to be less of a risk. The third reason you might want to use this approach is it can help to make a person's body or face appear a bit thinner on the camera. The fourth reason is it can make the face look a bit more soft or flattering or less rugged. This is what the shot looks like with that upstage key. You can see this side of the face is quite lit and it falls quickly off into shadow this side which is helped a little bit by the negative feel we've got on that side. Normally actors in a movie don't break the fourth wall and look directly at the camera like I'm doing now. They're going to be engaged in a dialogue scene or looking away from the camera. Notice when I do this I'm looking away the camera's shooting into the shadow side of the face here so if you think this looks too moody with all of this dark shadow here what you can do is add some fill on this side that can either be bouncing the light from the key light or adding in a second light let's go and do that so we could use this light as a fill light but I want to show you that you can do quite a lot with just a single light instead of using that what we're going to do is we're going to use this homemade bounce. This is just some double-sided material, black on one side, white on the other. And what we're going to do is we're going to position it there, just give you a better look. And now the light from the key light is going to be reflected and bounced into the shadow side of the face. So this is what the shot looks like now. You should notice that this side of the face, the shadows have been lifted a little bit. If I just look off camera, we're still shooting into this shadow side, so the opposite side to the key light there. But this bounce fill is making things look a bit less moody and a bit less dramatic. If we wanted to, we could also add some ambience to bring up the overall levels of the room, but still use this technique if we wanted a slightly less overall moody look and feel. And if you wanted to, you could add some extra fill over this side to further reduce the severity of that transition from from light to shadow. One way to make this upstage key lighting a bit more believable is to actually motivate the source of that key light. One way you can do that is by having a part of a window in the shot, but if you don't have a window, you can add in a practical light. So I'm just gonna turn on that floor lamp in the background there. The lamp's actually got a special bulb in it that you can use for filmmaking and you can set the color temperature and operate it wirelessly. I'll put a link to it down in the description. So just by adding a simple practical light there in the background, we're creating what's known as motivated lighting. It's not a big leap of the imagination to think that the light falling on my face here is actually coming from that lamp. Even though in filmmaking terms, that lamp is not actually bright enough to get the exposure we want. And in a movie, you wouldn't be looking directly at the camera there, you'd be looking off camera. And as before, the camera's shooting into to the shadow side of the face here. Using different lighting setups in your films and videos is a really amazing way to make them look more professional and to set a mood and get over a sense of emotion. If you ever find yourself shooting with white walls and ceilings, you're definitely gonna wanna check out this video next where I show you seven cinematography secrets for making rooms with white walls look amazing. I'm Jason Roberts and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.